while editing the, the shape of a model with uh, the move brush will give us a pretty pretty solid start when we're working on silhouette of more solid shapes. When we get into moving uh, limbs around, you'll find it's often not very helpful. You can see we kind of get a spaghetti noodle out of this instead of well, you know, a limb, which would move pretty rigidly. Um, so what we can do is instead use these tools here, the, the move, scale, and rotate. These three tools are called transpose tools. They have pretty simple setup. When you click and drag, you will set one anchor point at your first click, and you'll drag out to your, the last anchor point. And after they're placed, you can use this orange, these orange uh, anchors to move where those points will be. And when you use the inner red circles, the red anchor points, they will do the operation, whether it's move, rotate, or scale. Um, and each one of those points will act a little differently depending on what you're using it, or what tool you're using. Um, so with the move tool, we can set it up. Uh, if you change to the draw tool and you use con hold control and drag on your model, you'll note you're using a brush to paint a, to paint a mask. What we can do is actually instead go into one of the transpose tools and when we click and drag across a joint, you can see it isolates that limb. I'm pulling across the shoulder and now I have a selection and I can rotate just the arm based on uh, the mask. Pull the bottom or top. We'll grab the bottom one and rotate it and you'll see it rotates from the top joint down and if I grab the top joint it'll rotate from the, the bottom joint out. Uh, and the center point for rotate will rotate around that axis in like, its actual third three-dimensional space. So you can see the bar, uh, it's rotating right around the center of it. So I can rotate my arm right around this if I were so inclined. If I needed that to rotate around that pole and rotate in and out that way. Uh, yeah, so it's a little strange at first, but it'll, it'll definitely help you out in the future um, when you mess with this a little bit more. Um, the move tool will squash basically from the top, the the opposite point. Or if you grab the center point, you will move uh, again in screen space. Make a little T-Rex man here. Um, and scale does pretty much what you'd expect. The uh, the scale goes from the opposite anchor point. Um, That you've then what you, or from what you selected to scale, so we can kind of change the limbs a little bit. <laughs> Some wackiness with scale with symmetry on. Let's undo. Can edit the the legs a little. We can basically use that same limb detection uh, and do the same thing to the leg, but we'll just scale kind of pick where the joint we want to rotate, you know, where we want to scale from. It's sort of like editing your, uh, hitting insert in Maya and editing where your scale point is or your your axis will be. Um, you can use those same tools again, just isolate the foot and scale them out, stretch it around, create some longer feet from the little nubs I had. Second video with nubs in it, I'm going to stop saying nubs. Uh, you can use it. So you can use all these kind of in conjunction conjunction with each other and with the draw mode. Um, do some edits with the move brush and then move back to the move transpose tool and do some more rotations. Um, so these are really good for reproportioning uh, your models. Find the right shapes while after you've done your initial sculpt. You know, or I'd, I'd started this guy in Sculptress and wasn't really con sold on the uh, proportions, but um, getting them, getting the, the limbs into the model is one of the bigger steps. Once I have them in, I can go here and change the change the gesture, find a really nice pose, uh, and do some rotation, change the scale of the hands, you know, and you can you can very very heavily repose characters this way. So from the get go, we have uh, pretty pretty good. Um, pretty good scalability in how much we want to work with things. Uh, you can see me using the move tool to squash the model, but actually just actually stretch it, not squash. Sort of move it in screen space around a little bit. Just trying to find a little bit better of a po better pose from where we started. Give it a little pop. 
And that's it. There's transpose.